them are back in after the one hour stage. Um, at various um, things happen. First of all, uh, any felt he was really on point in terms of the driving. Uh, Adrian was like fantastic on navigation, so uh, we achieved basically our object objective for the, for the day was to get to the front of the field. I think we actually were in first place at the end, I think we the first car home, which is the objective we had set ourselves for, for, the, for the day. Obviously, uh, that brings it another set of challenges because um, we are first on the road tomorrow morning, which would mean then we've got to sort of lead and open the road and, um, you know, there's no tracks to follow and you've, um, you know, you really, really got to have your wits about you. Okay, the day didn't go with as smoothly as planned. We had a couple of issues with the cars. We still having a problem with the starter motor. Um, and he installed the car and it wouldn't start. So the starter motor spins the engine, but the engine doesn't take. Luckily, uh, Terence Marsh and the guy stopped and gave them a little tow and got them going again. We lost a little bit of time there. And then uh, about 25 k's from the end, we lost our steering. So um, that made the vehicle a little bit hard to drive. And I say, no, no, that um, you know, it took a bit of a backing because he didn't manage to get around one or two of the corners and you know, brushed against some trees and all that. So as I said, uh, the car took a little bit of a backing, um, knocked this little fender off, and had a little touch there against the uh, the tree obviously because Henny was battling with the um, lack of power steering and uh, anyway so uh, but we'll get on it uh, we'll patch your vehicle up charts uh, they're working away trying to work out the reason for the car not starting you know that's obviously a big concern to us because if you stall the car which is sort of happens quite often if you've missed a turn you're trying to turn around in your haste quite often you'll st stall the car and if your car can't start it that can sort of end your okay, stage. Okay, on a uh, sort of mixed day, hey? Yeah, so it was actually quite fun. We started off well. Uh, we There was a tricky section where, you, where they altered the road books and the instructions, but we got it right and we overtook a uh, few of the cars. And then in a uh, off-trail section where we had to make a switchback, there was a big hole on the outside and we overshot a bit, uh, hit, hit the left front and then the car stalled and for some reason we're still battling to sort out why the car doesn't want to start when it's hot um, so luckily Terence was very nice to help us and he pulled us and then after that I think we had a very good run we made up a lot of time a lot of people got lost and all that but we were we had the two or three overshoots but quickly rectified and we were off and he did an excellent job today um, then we lost power steering out I presume it's from the big hit we had, took on the left front so Charles just busy with that and then overall we're very happy, we're good, we feel good and we're looking forward for the rest of the race. Fantastic, lekker, let's go find it. sort of a mixed day, yeah. eh? I mean we uh, we achieved our objective which was to be first on the road, which I think we are, but it uh, didn't come easily, so can we just sort of chat to you that? Yeah, well, I mean, we had a bit of a problem, I think about 30 to the race, uh, I stalled the car in the corner where I was shot uh, a little bit and then we hit the ditch, uh, but that was okay, but then I stalled the car because I left through the lake and then we couldn't get the stuff car to get going the starter motor was spinning up but we couldn't get the engine to stop for some reason so Charles working on that at the moment and uh, yeah that's from there onwards we had a good run made some places up again navigation from Adrian was phenomenal it was really on the money you know exactly where we needed to turn so we made up some nice time and then 25 k's from the end the power steering pump fell so the last 25 kilometers, I was uh, yeah. brushing my teeth like this tonight. Yeah. Yeah, now we know why you're in the gym. Yeah. Yeah.